You've probably never heard of Greenland sharks before, but they're a pretty incredible species. Today, we're going to talk about how they can live for over 500 years. First, some general facts about Greenland sharks. They're similar in size to the famous great white sharks. Greenland sharks are typically 6 to 13 feet long, but they can be over 20 feet long and weigh over 2,000 pounds. They live in the Arctic and North Atlantic Ocean, and they primarily eat fish, small sharks, birds, and carrion. They're scavengers, and polar bears, horses, moose, reindeer, and seals have been found in their stomachs. They're not dangerous to humans, except their meat is toxic. More on that later. Greenland sharks are the longest living vertebrates on Earth. It's really difficult to determine the age of Greenland sharks. Usually, scientists measure sharks' ages by counting the growth rings of hard tissue. However, Greenland sharks only have soft tissue. Instead, scientists use lens crystallins to figure out their ages. Lens crystallins are proteins in the eye that are formed before birth, and they stay the same for the rest of the organism's life. Lens crystallins contain carbon-14, which is a radioactive isotope. Basically, scientists were able to carbon date proteins in the shark's eyes. In the study, researchers carbon dated the lens crystallins of 28 sharks. They measured the radiocarbon levels in the lens crystallins and used a model to estimate the shark's age. In the 1960s, there was lots of nuclear weapons testing, releasing radioactive material into the world, so they could use the 1960s as a benchmark to figure out when the sharks were born. The largest and oldest shark was 16 and a half feet long and approximately 392 years old. The age is an estimate, and the shark's actual age could vary by about 120 years, but it shows how these sharks can survive for several hundred years. So, how are Greenland sharks able to survive for so long? The answer isn't known for sure, but there are several theories. First, they live in really cold water of around 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. They also live deep in the ocean and can survive at depths of over 7,000 feet. It's believed that the cold water allows them to age more slowly. It takes Greenland sharks 150 years to reach sexual maturity, and they grow less than one centimeter per year. Their hearts beat once every 12 seconds on average, which may allow their hearts to last for hundreds of years. Also, Greenland sharks are believed to have a low metabolic rate. They are sleeper sharks, and they typically swim around three quarters of a mile per hour, with a max speed of around 2.5 miles per hour. Most sharks would consider this a pretty slow pace. For comparison, most shark species have an average speed of 5 to 8 miles per hour and a max speed in the double digits. However, Greenland sharks don't waste energy on swimming quickly. They're also ectotherms, which means that they rely on the environment for heat. Unlike humans, they don't need to use energy to create heat. Greenland sharks are not known to attack humans, but Greenland shark meat is toxic to humans. To survive in the cold, high-pressure conditions of the deep ocean, they have a high concentration of trimethylamine N-oxide, or TMAO. TMAO is a natural antifreeze that stabilizes proteins and prevents them from denaturing. It also helps increase the shark's buoyancy. However, when humans ingest TMAO, it is digested and becomes trimethylamine, or TMA. In high concentrations, TMA can cause stomach problems and affects the brain like drinking a lot of alcohol. It can even lead to seizures and death. Greenland shark meat can be eaten if it is prepared for several months to remove the TMAO and it's considered a delicacy. Greenland sharks are an amazing species, but little is known about them. They are classified as data deficient by the Norwegian Red List. If scientists can figure out how Greenland sharks can live so long, this may help humans live longer, healthier lives. Hopefully in the future, we can learn more about this incredible species. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed learning about Greenland sharks. Be sure to leave any video topic ideas in the comments below. And subscribe for more videos about chemistry, biology, and everything STEM related.